Hi, in this Kathari video, we'll learn how to find factors for a given number. Before we do that, let's learn a simple concept. In this arrangement, the sleeping line is called a row. So we have one, two, three, three rows. The standing line is called a column. So we have one, two, three, and four columns. This can be written as three rows and four columns or simply three times four. Now let's consider the situation. Durga has eight seats with her and she wants to arrange them in such a way that all the rows have same number of seats and the columns have same number of seats. In first case, she arranges them in this way. This has one row and one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Eight columns. This can be written as one times eight. In the second case, she arranges them in this way. This has two rows and one, two, three, four. Four columns. So it can be written as two times four. In the third case, she arranges them in this way. This has one, two, three, four, four rows and one and two, two columns. Hence can be written as four times two. In the fourth case, she arranges them in this way. This has one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, eight rows and one column. So eight times one. Uh, is there any other way of arranging eight seats? No. These are the only four ways of arranging eight seats. So eight can be written as a product of two numbers in four ways. It can be written as one times eight. It can be written as two times four, four times two and eight times one. While arranging eight in different ways, what Durga actually found out were factors of eight, which are one, writing them in the ascending order 2, 4 and 8. So 1, 2, 4 and 8 are the factors of 8. But wait a minute, what is a factor? A factor is a number that divides the other number exactly, which means it does not leave any remainder. In our previous case, the factors of 8 are 1, 2, 4 and 8 itself. Teachers, just like basic operations, it is important to start any concept with concrete objects because this helps children to visualize the concept and gain better understanding. Thank you for watching. I hope you understood how to find factors for any given number using seeds or even stones. Now, can you find the factors for the number 12?